Okay, so there's this skincare line named The Ordinary, and unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you've seen it or at least heard of it. Anyways, the biggest thing about this brand is that every product is so goddamn cheap. Their most expensive product is $28.90, which for an all-you-can-eat buffet, that's a pretty good price. Side note, this is all in Canadian dollars because, well, that's where I live. And uh, so does this brand. Oh, Canada. Now, I know when I first saw those prices, I thought, nope, this cannot work. Well, think again, it does work. So how is it so cheap? Well, the brand focuses on single ingredients which work. Since they are able to focus on this singular ingredient, it keeps their costs down massively. And I know you might be thinking to yourself, well, doesn't every brand focus on the ingredients which work? And the answer to that is no. The truth is most of your beloved skincare that you've gotten from Sephora, Ulta, Timbuktu, well, it's full of shit. And this is a topic for discussion for another video. But this is where The Ordinary has really come in and shaken the skincare world up to its core. Let's look at an example. We're gonna take one product from The Ordinary and compare it to a similar product from another super popular brand at the moment, Drunk Elephant. Which, disclaimer, this is really no hate towards Drunk Elephant. It's all just fun and games. We're just here for a little experiment, okay? Now, now in the now, first, first corner, corner from, from the, the ordinary, ordinary coming, coming in at six dollars and eighty cents, we, we have the hyaluronic acid two percent plus 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 B five. Jesus Christ! In, in the, the second, second corner, corner from, from the drunk, the drunk elephant, elephant coming, coming in at sixty three dollars, we have the B Hydra TM Intensive Hydration Serum. This is gonna be an intense fight, fight folks, folks so, so let's, so get, let's into get into it. it now looking at the ingredients side by side we have a much longer list from the drunk elephant product which to clarify that does not mean it's better and let me prove that to you so upon first glance looking at the ingredients well none of it makes any goddamn sense where is this hyaluronic you speak of where is this b5 well that's science my friends and i don't know about you but i did not do well in science so we're gonna make this crystal clear. Let's zoom in on the ordinary product. First things first, we have our water. Thank God. Right behind our trusty friend water, we have our first hyaluronic ingredient. There is also an additional hyaluronic ingredient in this product, which is right here. Now, the tea with products goes like this. Any ingredient listed first has the highest amount and goes in a decreasing order. So that ingredient listed at the end of your product well, there's likely to be jack shit of that ingredient in the actual product. With that being said, there are ingredients which have a high concentration and only a little bit is needed. Almost like the vanilla extract in baking. Next up, we have our vitamin B5, which is pencil right here. So all the key ingredients are accounted for. The description of the product, the ingredients that they are claiming to be in the product, well, they are there. And that's good, obviously. Other than that, the other ingredients are filler ingredients, which you could call. You know, kind of like the baking soda, baking powder to like our beautiful cake that we're baking here. I don't really know why I'm turning this into a baking analogy, but it's working, so I'm gonna just keep going. Okay, side note, I would highly recommend checking out this site. I've used it for quite a while now. You can look up any ingredients or products and it will give you a full diagnosis on that shit. All in all, there are 17 ingredients in the ordinary product which is quite common for the brand. There are even some products with only singular ingredients in it. It really just depends. Now, back to the drunk elephant in the room. Our B Hydra TM Intensive Hydration Serum. Okay, so we have the B Hydra. So judging by the name, we are assuming it is a B vitamin hydrating serum. Really glad I clarified that. I was worried that you were not following along. Just when you thought I'm done with the baking analogies, think again. So we're gonna grab our ingredients for a hydrating, moist, lightweight cake packed with vitamin B. We're gonna need a little coconut, a little wheat, a little pineapple, watermelon, lentils, and even some apple. After that beautiful cake has baked at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, we finally detour to one of our first key ingredients. We have our vitamin B5 listed here, pentanol, which is the same one from our ordinary products, so <laughs> cool. Our hyaluronic acid is listed here, and they also have a second one in this one which is listed here. So after 13, 13, 13, one, three ingredients, 
we finally start to see our key ingredients. The ingredients which is in the product name, listed right here, trademarked and all. Now, the thing is, if I wanted to buy a fruitcake serum, I would buy that. Not to say that those ingredients aren't good, or any of the other ingredients in the serum, but that's not why I bought the product. The point I'm trying to make here, people, is that The Ordinary has come in and brought transparency to the beauty industry. What you see is what you get. And for a majority of other beauty companies within the industry, well, it's just not like that. The last point I will leave you with is this. If you could pay almost 90% less for a product that did almost the exact same thing, would you do it? Boom, bitch. Bye. Back again, here we go. Um, I just wanted to give a little side note that I'm doing a full series on The Ordinary, all their products. We're gonna do a full, full deep dive. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, love you, bye.